got a couple of Cavs tickets for next week. Tuesday night, the Boston Celtics will be in town at the Romo Fijo. Tickets are on sale for that game at rocketmortgagefieldhouse.com. If you want to go, we'll put you there. Two tickets, Cavs, Celtics, Tuesday, downtown. Uh, good luck. Caller 12, those are yours. 216-578-1007 to win. Or 800-348-1007. Sorry, we're now legally required to return to the Alan Cox Show. On 100.7 WMMS. Cavs are off tonight. Chicago Bulls in town tomorrow night. That's a 7 o'clock tip at the Romo Fijo. Romo Fijo. So 6.30 is when your pregame will begin uh, tomorrow night after we get out of here. Another chance for a win yourself a thousand bucks about eight minutes from now, five thirty, as close as I can get to it. It'd be a chance for you to go fund yourself, and then six thirty, right before the Corey Roddick experience this afternoon, uh, you can do it again. If you listen to the show on iHeartRadio from outside of Ohio, let me know where you do that. Uh, put you on the map of Bureau Chiefs. Ryan is one of our many Bureau Chiefs in Seattle. Hey, Mary just got back from having a, a transformative experience. I did. So what, you're what? I'm living for me now! <laughs> <laughs> I can do anything and I will! <laughs> uh, just for clarity, for whom were you living before? I oh, <laughs> I was oh. going to do it again. I don't oh. know. Um, the demons inside. Some unnamed entity is what you're saying. So Mike. you'll do anything, like go out with a random guy from your Instagram DMs. I will not do that. Well, you say you do anything. I can do anything. Within oh, reason, okay. Bill. Well, she didn't very specify specific. that. I know, she didn't specify that. Well, you that. know, there's not a lot of rules to spiritual awakenings. Not a lot of fine print. No, yeah. not really. Mike listens in Kirkland, Washington. Brittany is in Portland. Hey. I'm just co- coincidentally looking at the Pacific Northwest. Hmm. Uh, David's up in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Nate uh, just relocated from Vegas to San Francisco. Ashley is in Minot, North Dakota. I heard from Jake, who is a page one... Bureau chief. I have eight pages of like eight point font of bureau chiefs around the world. And Jake is one of our earliest bureau chiefs. He's out in Orange County. And I was asking him how the fire situation is out there. And he said that they're not far from uh, the ocean. So it's not too bad for them right now. But I've uh, I've been hearing from some of our California bureau chiefs who are uh, getting a little uh, uh, scritchy out there. So a lot of stuff going on out there. It's making a lot of people nervous, as you might expect. So best of luck to those people. What is this fetish list you sent me while you were gone? Oh, it made me laugh. It's it's definitely like a Facebook thing, but uh, they released like the official list of sexual fetish, fetishes or something like that. There's some weird ones in there, man. But how do they... The complete list of 239 sexual fetishes and kinks... Every time they do one of these exhaustive lists, you're going to have a whole bunch of people raising their hands going, mine's not on there. <laughs> right. Well, that was the thing. There was some yeah. of that. Like couch cushions. Right. And there's a, there's a lot of ads and stuff in there, too, but I just thought it was funny. There's a, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to. I scrolled past it and saw it and thought it was funny. And I'm not going to down anyone's kink because whatever trips your trigger is good for you. But mine's not on there. What's yours? Activism perversion. Oh. I'm addicted to getting signatures that lead to absolutely no effective change. That's not on there. That's how it's I get not off, addiction, Bill. it's a kink. Yeah, that's how I get off. Oh, 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 I didn't realize. So, yeah, these go in alphabetical uh, order. And then, of course, there's little quizzes in the middle. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of spammy. Has a guy ever and... complimented you on your beach skills? I'm going to mark never. No. No. Oh, okay. Oh, you'll get better. <laughs> Don't worry, Alan. Someday, some guy's going to give you a nice compliment on your beach skills. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah. That's all I've ever asked for. <laughs> it's just a little recognition. <laughs> <laughs> um, amorophilia. See, I like the weirder ones. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows, Bill, what anal sex is. Right. Yeah. Some of them were just like describing different sex positions, and but then some of them were weird. Amorophilia is a kink for being unable to see. You like to be blindfolded during sex. There are some of them about like amputees and like being no, amputated. Yeah, you know about that. Yeah. Like or like they want to be amputated and stuff. It's like really. Tell you what, and this you, is new to you. you know I you? didn't know that. No, I'm very. Uh, I don't like the word prude, but sexually. Uh, 
We talked about a guy that. What's won. the word I'm looking for? Not it starts with an R. Re. Ruggler. Recidivism. No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, like uh, re. Not reformed. Re- like repressed. Reformed. Not repressed. repressed. It's like re- a. Re- emergent. I don't know. That's something I keep private, re- and I don't really. You can't say retarded. No. Reserved. <laughs> reserved. Reserved. You're too yeah. reserved. Sexually reserved, I would say. I say. Mm. If I get comfortable with someone, we try to do different things, but I'm not in. I'm never. Sexually done introverted. That. Yes, I've never done stuff like that. Cons- I love this one. No wonder people are confused. Consensual non-consent. Both. What is that? Your Honor, we were engaging in consensual non-consent. It's so, like rape fantasy. Yeah, rape you gotta, you play. Have somebody, get someone on camera beforehand, like, all right, what do you want me to do? I want you to rape me. Oh, and yeah. Then, like you, then, okay. I don't they see They want it to be like consent. that kind of a scenario where you fake break into their house and stuff, yeah. but they're into it. Yeah. I don't see, I'm looking in the seas, I don't see Christmas consent. We go oh. to Black John Legend better get all over this. What was that? The, there was a story, uh, I don't know if it was this year or last year, but there was a guy that was like down in Florida and he was killed or so, something happened like he got his thing cut off by this person yeah he found a guy on back pages yeah, who was like was. i want you to eat me yeah i want you to kill him usually it happens yeah. no, in no, germany no 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 this is a different thing this was a there's a oh, castration it was that. It was that. there's yeah. a castration fetish yeah castration yeah, fetish where guys that's are another like one. They that's want another you story we talked the, about the, cut out one of their balls it's all in florida it, yeah. it's crazy the only fetish i got like from Grinder was a, a guy wanted me to come over or he wanted to come over to my house and he wanted me to pie him. Pie. I have a like, tiny pound like cake with, fetish. Like, wait a minute. Like a clown? Like, like a whipped cream pie in the <laughs> yes, face? Yes, like throw fi- He was like, yeah, we can stand in your bathtub. Are and you, you can- serious? I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm like, I'm not joking at all. I couldn't even make, th- I didn't even think that was a thing. He like, was like he didn't even want to have sex. He just wanted you to throw a whipped cream pie we, in the We face. hooked up one time before and I think that that gave him like, he was like, okay, confidence I can be know. comfortable yeah. with you. He's like, yeah, we, I can come over again, but this time he was like, can you pie me? And I'm thinking, you know, yeah. the other type yeah, of pie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, absolutely, of course. <laughs> and he's like, all right, well, I got to stop at the store first. I'm like, Wait, for what? I have condoms here. Like, what are you talking about? He's like, I gotta get the pies. I'm like, oh, you mean like... You want me to pie? throw a pie at you? And that was like, nah, bruh. Like, I, I, and I had one of those like... This guy's like, no? That's I said, no. I have see, one of those Victorian tubs where it's... Uh, like claw a claw foot. foot? Claw yeah. foot tubs. I was like, we're now standing in my tub and I'm throwing pies at you. Guy's like, that's not cream pie porn. <laughs> I feel like if I were with... And we've talked about this. If I were with somebody and we were comfortable together and they asked me to do something weird like that and I'm like, well, if that's what you're into, sure. I mean, yeah, but I I'm not particularly Who's enjoying this. That but, up? I'm right. not cleaning that up. <laughs> right. But I don't know if a, a hookup I could... See, then the more I think about it, I'm like, you know what? If this is your thing, sure. It's so, not hurting me. It's so off the wall, though. It is very strange. All right, you, give, you give me a letter of the alphabet, and I will give you the kink. Uh, J. J. Oh, J's a good one. Let me go into J here. There's only one. Oh. J-O-I. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> I don't know that one. You know it's, you know a lot of these? <laughs> okay. It's, J, it's, <laughs> J, it's uh, J off instructions. Being instructed oh, on how to do it to mm-hmm. rub it out, yeah. Okay. They give you a Only countdown. J at okay. The end. It's P. Fun. This is not a, an exhaustive list of kinks. If there's only one in J, you don't know. That's why I said it looks a little spammy, but I thought it was fun. P. How about catoptronophilia? Try again. Sex in front of mirrors. P. P. Oh, that's the Patrick sex Bateman. In f- uh, yeah. Parthenophilia. I assume that's banging Greek girls. Oh. A fetish for virginal partners. Huh. Mm. Where do these words come from? That's what I like. Pacataphilia. Probably all Greek. Latin. Latin, Latin yeah. Latin. yeah. A fetish for sinning and breaking religious rules. Ooh, I have that one, apparently. Ooh, there you go. No I don't think anyone who was you. raised in any mm-hmm. kind of religious tradition probably has that. Right. Is there one for, like, getting beat up before sex and then the person saying they're sorry and then they have they make love afterwards? I believe that's called an abusive relationship. <laughs> I know. I was like, I'm sure there's a kink for that, though. Find I'm that married in the to A's. an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry about that. What about uh, L? Oh, let me go into L. Lactation. Ooh. No. Tried it. <laughs> yeah, you have talked about that yeah. before. Mm-hmm. Lithophilia. Okay. I would think that would be books. What's that? A kink for rocks, stones, or gravel. This can Ouch. be used non-sexually. Ow. <laughs> You're just like rolling around on a gravel driveway? Ow. <laughs> or somebody throwing rocks at your head. And you go, oh, yeah, more. Yeah, so yeah. Breaking you, your back. You, you, listen, you, you got to stop skipping those stones or I'm going <laughs> to... I wonder if people... Because you can get like hot stone massages and stuff. I wonder I've if people who one. have I this... I I wonder if people who have this go to places like that to like... 
Get them all Get horned all up, up. You know? Coronophilia is a sexual fascination with... with the Quran. With the Quran? <laughs> no. Be careful with that one. K-E-R-A-U-N. Oh, okay. Sexual fascination with thunder and lightning. Huh. You feel the way you love me is frightening. <laughs> yeah. Thunder. Thunder. Thunder cats. Huh. Ho! Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. right, let's go with uh, S. S. Oh, sounding. <laughs> Do you know sounding, Mary? Uh-uh, I don't know what don't, that is. Don't look it up. Yeah, go look it up. Look up sounding fetish. Oh, well, geez. here's the saddest one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Savantophilia. What's that? It's a fetish for people who have a cognitive impairment or delay. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> when you get turned oh, on by having sex with <laughs> mentally challenged <gasps> people, I guess. Sounding? <laughs> Haven't you been here for Dr. Berglund? He's no. just here. Uh-uh. You've been here before when, when he's, he's here. talked about that? I mm. thought you had. That's got to hurt. Well, that's the noise. That's why it's called sounding, because that's the noise <laughs> yeah. you make when somebody describes it to you. Ooh. I've got $1,000 here for you to win. As promised, you could uh, purchase yourself all kinds of metal rods yeah. with $1,000. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Sounds <laughs> good. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, it's Rover. Go fund yourself. We have your shot at $1,000 now. Text the nationwide keyword WINGS to the number 200-200. You'll get a text confirming entry plus iHeartRadio info. Standard data and message rate supply in this nationwide contest. That's WINGS to 200-200. Good luck and go fund yourself from 100.7 WMMS. Now, and that guy probably watched Pound Cake's Polar Blast Punishment with all the food and he got all horned up. Hmm. There you go. That's possible. Q. Mm -hmm. Q. There's only one J. There's got to be a Q, right? Queerophilia. A fetish for hands. Oh. Uh, Ladies, if you have this, let me know. (laughs) (laughs) Light touching. Light touching. Gazebophilia. Yeah. Uh, Some people fetishize certain parts of the hand, such as the fingers or the nails. Others may prefer hands of a certain size or shape. You got big hands. There was a guy, the guy I told the story about a couple weeks ago, the, who had the other woman and she caught us. Uh, he had a thing about pedicures. Like he would pay for me to get pedicures done so that my toes were always like pretty. Oh my mm-hmm. God. You can yeah. never underestimate quality looking feet. Mm-hmm. Did you just briefly advertise the size <laughs> of your hand on the live he stream? Did. He's a freak. I'm, just, I'm not saying he's a freak. I just find can it Can you pull him a basketball? Fine. Yeah. Really? There's one in the office. Go get it. You saw Why? some of the girls he dated. He can clearly <laughs> palm basketballs. <laughs> I feel like he's like some some Jeopardy girl. Like, ooh. <laughs> Just like doing magic hands. <laughs> pygophilia is on here, or too. What's hands. pygophilia? Or pygophilia? P-Y-G? Pygophilia? Uh, partialism to butts, seeing, touching, and playing with them. Isn't there a little pygophilia <laughs> in all of us? Pygophilia, right on. here. Great ass. Even I have that right. for boobs. Mm-hmm. Pubophilia. What do you think that is? Well, they no. couldn't come up with yeah. another uh, more official sounding word for that. Great ass. I can't find it, and I don't care that much. Oh. That's a fetish. That's I'll do it fetish. in the brain. That is good. Oh. Couldn't find what? The basketball. basketball. There was the little basketball oh. with like I the fake palm net. That one. I know. I can too. Pubophilia. There was a pubophilia? basketball, right? Yeah. Yeah, they couldn't come They're up into with pubes? it. Yeah. Like like a little bit. Hey, a man to each their own, right? Not a bush. Well, doesn't say. Does not Some say. People, I would yeah. think the more the merrier. Just if like you're, you're into, into it. That. Just like mm. a sprinkle. Let me go to the very end. Let me see what Ooh, Z, Z is. Xylophone. Fi- oh, that's an X. <laughs> uh, listening to something and some someone's dad. Oh, it was Luke Knoll. He was talking about his dad wrote some letter a long time ago that he found, and his dad was all about bush and he had oh man i can't remember <laughs> like he, he wanted to see more bush that's what he's into who was man. he writing to it was just like something that a something that his dad said to him he had, his dad's kind of weird so okay his dad said something i'll, I'll text him and see what it was again, okay it was really off-putting he wants a girl looks like bob ross down there basically his whole wow point. i can't imagine letting it go that far yeah, like I, this, I I mean, maybe TMI. He wanted TMI. a bush like a thicket or something. Oh, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm, I want to get a Brazilian for my birthday, but you have to you have to grow your hair out for five weeks, and I'm like, that is too much. See, like, that is so much. I think of pubes is like if you were. I like it like if you were to throw the hairs up and they just land just gingerly, like what? Like <laughs> scattered? Not, not scattered, but just like uniform. <laughs> yeah. It's Trimmed. Like, yeah, but like, like neat. Oh, I remember what it was. 
wanted a, a he wants the girl to have a bush that would stall a push like, mower, not a weed whacker, but like <laughs> <laughs> a band mower, uh, so, some sort of like I don't know, I can't remember the thing, but it was like that, a like, trimmer, an edger, yeah, some sort of like yard piece tool. of equipment, <laughs> right? That's wow. what he wanted. That's a bush that would stall. Do we find a Z one? A thresher. Yeah, I found a couple. I yeah, a th- stall a thresher. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, that beaver moon is this weekend. What is that? The full beaver moon. That- full moon beaver. Yeah, it's... Full moon beaver. I'm going to sell that thing <laughs> if it kills me. Um, <laughs> something called Zentai. Okay. It's a Japanese thing, of course. Like um, hentai. Your fetish. Hentai, but you're chill about it. Zentai, man. <laughs> Just like <laughs> sleepy hentai. Yoga, right? Your fetish <laughs> is that you are both covered head to toe in a skin tight garment that's you look like green man yeah i was just gonna say yeah and then you're rubbing up against another person who is in that suit so it's like that's what you're really into but write some of these down see what if anything flips a trigger or anything that's weird they created internationally recognized personalities out of the green men who were two fans of the vancouver canucks and these guys got famous from that but they're full body suits and people who are so it's for for performance art, summer. But of- people who are turned on by this sexually, there's a whole Wikipedia page wow. devoted to it. Summer of 2017, I discovered uh, Edgewater Lives, and one time I went down there, ate and a that's gummy. That's your fetish? No, no, no. Oh. I listen. This, I ate a gummy, and I was right as I was peak edible. Uh, two children walked by in like swimsuits like that that zipped all the way up over their heads. And I was like just getting to the <laughs> highest point in my ride. And I was like, this isn't real. Like, I was like, maybe they're allergic to the sun or something. But there were two little kids dressed up like that. Now I'm wondering, were they into something else? Did they have a sun allergy? What hmm. was it? Were they into Zentai? Maybe so. Huh. Kids. They were, they, were, they were probably like 12, 10, 12. I couldn't see their faces, but that's what the body type suggested. Maybe they were trafficked, Mary, and you just walked past them because you were They high. walked past me. I was sitting very still. Bill is thinking of the brush hog. Brush hog. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> is that a thing? Yeah. The brush so hog? How did they know that's that. what you were thinking? Because they were probably at the show. Oh. Or, oh. Uh, they want to, his dad wanted a girl to have a bush that would stall a brush hog. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Oh, that's, I love it because it's very specific. It's very yeah. specific. It's also a weird thing to tell your son. Yeah. <laughs> son, uh, this is what like, I like. That's why your doing... mom and I are divorced. Mm-hmm. She had hardwood floors down there. Father son talk. Yeah. Let's talk brush hogs. Stall a brush hog. I got to use that at some point for something. <laughs> <laughs> she had a bush that stall a brush hog. Mm. Follow Luke Knoll. It does dude. sound like an old timey thing. Like Alan, I get Brazilians reason. all the time. You don't have to let it grow out for five weeks, more like two. That's what the lady said. She said yeah. five weeks of hair growth. And I was like, that's a long time. <laughs> it's next week, so figure it out. Yeah. Alan, check out Vorophilia. Uh-oh. Oh, I know about Vora. What? I, why do you know so many of because these? Because I pay attention. <laughs> because he's a he's a man of the world. He's out there making <laughs> things happen. A lot of this comes yeah, from people yeah. talking about it in comedy and stuff. He's got to have so. his ear to the yes, ground. This is literally something someone that we know has a bit about. An intense, is, like, sexually aroused by one creature eating another. Yeah. Ew, like a snake? It can be mm-hmm. soft as a frog swallowing a fly or hard as a lion tearing its prey apart. And mm-hmm. that turns them That's on. That's what turns people. Isn't that amazing, though, the things that turn people on? Okay, so wait like, a minute. You don't even really know. Whoever you are, you don't even really know what you're into until, until your you brain tells mm-hmm. you and it makes it move and you go, well, okay. No wonder people are trying to kind of keep things hidden because there are obviously some that are common to people but then there are some that are very uncommon so i'm wondering is that and you have to find a simpatico individual that's cool with that beyond just curiosity Mm -hmm. like sitting there watching like planet earth and they're like oh yeah get the zebra (laughs) get the zebra yeah like when like what like when those uh you know uh tigers Tearing up an Ibex on the Serengeti. That's you guys got to get down and dance. Yeah. Man. Huh. Interesting. Very strange. Did I do anything for you? No. What about Closer? That? Further. No? Further. Colder? Colder. Warmer? Hotter? Hotter? Hotter. 
yeah. hot yeah. by far. <laughs> so hot. Nope. Anything? No? No, I live, no I live in South Euclid. Really? Huh. Um. Uh-uh. Anything? Uh-uh. Hitler? No. No, not the Hitler. What about pound cake as a horse? Pound oh, cake as a horse. I don't, I I don't think I recall pound cake as a horse. Hmm. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh my god, turn it off. Mm. Can't handle it. 